my little brother, who you met in this vlog, is running the marathon today. So it's given me some motivation to get out and start running myself. I won't be running 26 miles though. One problem with being out of shape is that my calves are killing me. I've only run about three quarters of a mile and uh, pain in my calves is insane. And I just can't seem to be able to stretch them. I wanted to talk today about the new gimbal I've got for shooting on the iPhone. So let's go back to yesterday's unboxing. Better we get into this. So Here's the unboxing of the Smooth 2, nicely packaged. Kind of like Apple just changed the game, didn't they, when they did when they did their packaging. Everyone else, you've got a good product. You want to make sure you get your packaging as good as Apple's and Smooth are doing a good job here. Looking good. So use manual. There you go. That was yesterday's unboxing. Today I'm going to do a totally unscientific experiment by walking around my garden with, th with three different items. First of all, my iPhone 7 in just this selfie stick. Secondly, an iPhone 6 with this selfie stick. The reason for that is the iPhone 7 Plus, sorry, has stabilization on it, so it is naturally going to be better, so you might see a greater difference. Whether I'll be able to get the gimbal working with the, oh, we'll try it anyway. And then all, the iPhone 7 Plus in this and the 6 in this as well. So let's just see a little trip around my garden, kind of what difference this gimbal can make, just walking and doing a basic kind of vlog. So this is the iPhone 6 on a selfie stick, just literally walking to the bottom of my garden. I can even see now how much is jumping around. So I'm hoping the gimbal will make a huge difference to this one. This is the iPhone 7 Plus, which has built-in stabilization, and I'm on the selfie stick, not on the gimbal. So this is using the gimbal now on an iPhone 6, and you can already tell the colors are not as good on the 6. Now, I haven't I had to take the weight off the difference from the 7 Plus, on the gimbal but let's have a little quick walk around just so you can see hopefully well what I'm guessing is there'll be a huge difference on this phone between um, what you shot without the gimbal and with because this, this doesn't have image stabilization So this is the iPhone 7 Plus on the gimbal. Yeah. Okay. When it gets to me. No! All right. No, no, wait, 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 Charlie, wait, wait for it to stop. And finally, for reference, my trusty Canon DSLR. Just to kind of show you what goes on with my normal top of the range camera, which of course doesn't have image stabilization. I mean, not even looking back on the footage, I can tell it's better and smoother. The fact I've got the joystick to be able to do the pan and tilt stuff is fantastic. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to see a huge improvement. 
I can certainly sense a huge, huge, huge improvement, even just from looking on the viewfinder. That concludes my review. Just a quick kind of, if you really want to be geeky, this is kind of what it's looking like up and down on the Canon and side to side. I'm still getting used to them. I'm not a professional videographer. I make vlogs, but I'm a musician. So I have bought this gear. This is not a paid product endorsement. Um, I've got this because I want to make my vlogs better for you guys to make my YouTube videos better. And I, for me, it's made a huge difference just on the videos I've seen doing the edit for this vlog right now. So I would highly recommend this product. If you wanted to see the box, because some people kind of do, I need to turn this off. Um, the box is here, really nice, really well packaged. I bought this off Amazon, took about two or three days to arrive. Um, ah, there you go, that's it. It comes with the USB charging cable. Um, which I charged up last night. It's pretty sturdy, it seems pretty good. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. My only kind of thing is, when I, the majority of times when I'm vlogging with the iPhone, I'm, gr I'm grabbing it to capture something. I didn't want to take the DSLR with me. I am testing, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I have a microphone now to test out for the iPhone, mostly for recording gigs. Um, but I wonder what kind of, what I'm trying to get at with this is, is it, for me, the proof will be in the pudding, is it practical for me to carry around in my bag, pull out my bag when I'm in London or Cambridge or whatever, or on a gig, and kind of capture something with that gimbal. When I've got the DSLR rig, it's really obtrusive, people really notice when you've got a Canon, people either think you're professional or get a bit unnervy with you. When you've got an iPhone, everybody ignores it. Mm, don't know, will it the gimbal? Don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just a bit self more self-conscious than I should be. Anyway, that's my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will um, be back with a review vlog for the uh, iPhone microphone very, very soon. And lots of other stuff. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments box. Comments. Comments. I can't really get my words out today. I've not honestly, honestly been drinking yet. Anyway, um, pop them in the comments box below. Comment. Pop them in the comments box below. That's what I'm trying to say because I'm very tired. And please, if you don't already, hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference to the videos that I am able to offer you. My target is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the summer. So please help me along with that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.